Coming up, I'll be showing you the keyboard shortcuts I use personally each and every day on Windows to both save time and make it easier navigating Windows. We'll start with the absolute basics I use first. To copy text after highlighting it, or to copy a file, folder, or anything else on your PC, use the keyboard shortcut Control plus C. To paste whatever you copied wherever you need it, for example, to paste the text I just copied into a Word document, I would use the keyboard shortcut, which is Control plus V. I'd recommend for any keyboard shortcuts coming up you've never used before that you pause this video and try them out to get more familiar with them. If you decide that you would prefer to paste something somewhere else, use the cut shortcut, which is Control plus X. This will copy it and remove it so you can paste it elsewhere using Control plus V. No matter which program you're using, the undo shortcut, Control plus Z, to get back to your previous input, is great for undoing any possible mistakes. On the flip side of that, the redo shortcut, Control plus Y, will redo something you have undone in case you change your mind. Whether I'm using my computers for work or personal use, I tend to open the file explorer quite a bit throughout the day. To quickly open it, press the Windows key plus E. You can use the shortcut to open multiple windows of File Explorer if you want. Now that File Explorer has tab support, opening multiple windows is no longer necessary. To open a new tab, just like you would in your web browser, use the keyboard shortcut, which is Control plus T. You can open as many tabs as you need. This shortcut, the Alt key plus Tab key, lets you quickly switch between open programs and windows on your computer. While keeping the Alt key pressed and tapping on Tab, it moves between all that are open, and you can do it as quickly as you want. Letting go of both keys will bring the selected app or window to the forefront. No matter which program you're using, holding down the Control key and A key will select all the text, files, and folders in that window. For example, in File Explorer, Control plus A will select every file and folder listed. This can come in handy when you need to copy everything to paste elsewhere, play all of the music and video files listed in your media player, etc. A shortcut I often mention in tutorials when we open the Settings app is the Windows key plus I. This is a lot quicker than having to go through the Start menu or do a search to get here to change any settings in Windows. To close any program or window you have opened, press the Alt key and the F4 key and it will close. If you're in an application where you have not saved your work, it will ask you to do so before it closes. One I showed in a recent video is to bring up the input panel in Clipboard History is to use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus V. You can cycle through the history using the up and down arrows on your keyboard. Hitting enter on your keyboard will paste the selected item. Being able to find a word or keywords in a web page or document can easily be done with the keyboard shortcut, Control plus F. And in this document, you'll see it here at the top. For example, with newer vehicles no longer supplying the full manual with the vehicle and having it only available online to view or download, this shortcut is super handy. I'll do a search for the keyword's tire pressure. And using the down arrow on the keyboard, go down to the exact matches and select tire pressure. Hit enter on the keyboard. Tapping enter on the keyboard will jump through the manual where those keywords are located. Anywhere in Windows where you'd normally type, you can use the voice typing feature instead using the keyboard shortcut Windows key plus H. Here's an example. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you, period. But the roses are wilting, the violets are dead, the sugar is lumpy, and so is your head, period. In many web browsers, or while using the File Explorer, using the keyboard shortcut Control plus E will select the navigation box to search the internet or bring up a search box to search your computer. Here's what that looks like in the web browser to search the internet. Control plus E, do your search, hit enter, 
here's an example to bring up the search box in File Explorer to search your computer. Control plus E, type your search. Now using the up and down keys, you can go through the various files on your computer. To bring up the Power User menu, you could right click on the Start menu, then click the application you want to open. Or to bring up the Power User menu without using your mouse, use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus X. Now use the up or down arrow keys to navigate the menu, and then hit Enter to open the app. In this example, I opened up the Device Manager. To simply lock your computer, instead of turning it off or putting it in sleep mode, press the Windows key plus L. This is great in work environments to prevent unauthorized access to your computer. If you quickly want to see your desktop, minimizing all open windows, use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus D. Using the same key combination while bringing those windows back, you had minimized. Being able to snap windows to the screen is one of the most useful productivity shortcuts I use at least a dozen times per day. With a window selected, press the Windows key and the left, right, up, or down keys to snap it to a section of the screen. In this example, I'll snap it to the right half. When you let go of the keys, you'll have the choice to snap another window to the other half using the arrow keys and hitting Enter on your keyboard for the window selected. Windows 11 has gone a step further with snapping windows to the screen with their feature they call Snap Layouts. To activate it, press the Windows key and Z key. On the window selected, you'll get a pop-up with the various layouts numbered. Select the associated number on your keyboard for the layout you want. In this case, that would be the number 7. You'll see this one is numbered 123. I want this window to be on the left half of the screen, so I'll select the number 1. And as we did for the prior shortcut, use the arrow keys and enter key to fill out the remaining layout. This one's also only for Windows 11 because they screwed up the context menu in File Explorer. Normally when you right click on a file in Windows 11, if you want to see the full context menu, you have to go down here to show more options. To see the full context menu right away without the extra click, Hold down the shift key while right clicking on the file. Now you see the full menu. To quickly rename files, with the file selected, press F2 on your keyboard. Type the name, and then hit enter. But in this case, instead of hitting enter, if you press the tab key on your keyboard, you can rename the next file right away. This is a handy tip in your browser to be able to reopen tabs you had previously closed. It works in most of the popular browsers. I'm going to close a few tabs right now. To reopen those tabs, use the keyboard shortcut, Control plus Shift plus T. Then just keep Control plus Shift pressed while tapping on T to reopen the remaining tabs. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What are the keyboard shortcuts you use most often every day? Let us know in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest tips and tricks for Windows and other tech-related stuff.